We're going to be doing some fly fishing in the local mountains for brown trout. Maybe a stocked rainbow here and there, but haven't been there in about six months or so. And looks like I need to build this leader up, but super hyped to be back out in the mountains. We're going to be throwing the eight weight on a little Frenchie, your own nymphing. So and I don't have a net today. Um, I left my net in the upper Owens somewhere buried in the snow, but we're going to get out there and see what we can do with what we got and uh, hopefully catch a couple little browns. Hopefully be able to fish at all. I don't know how the flows are going to be looking or anything. We're going to make the two hour drive up there and see what we can do. And of course we got the transportation out there. But not today. Today we're going to be fly fishing. Super hyped on that. Alright, we made it out here. And so far the flows are looking super strong. Today might be a dud. But we're going to check out the pools that do look fishable and see if there's anyone home. Start out your own nymphing. That's all we're going to be doing actually. But the whole drive up here I was having flashbacks. It's been about a year since I've been here. And spring is definitely in the air. You can feel it. Real excited about that. Probably going to be a bit rusty but you know what? What can you do? Well, flows are still pretty high and it looks a lot different than it did all the other times I've came and fished here. We'll still give it a shot. Very minimum, we'll just have a nice day out here in the mountains. Well, it's not looking good out here so far as you can see it's flowing and I think the move right now is just to look for pools big deep pools that aren't flowing so heavy and they'll probably have a couple fish in them so I'm gonna stop messing around with all this try to find a big pool with not as much moving water in it Well, I'd kind of lost hope there for a minute and I find a little spot going around the flow lost two of them one was nice that's kind of a downer I guess now I got to pay a little bit more attention it's nice to know there is fish still in here so I'm not sure how this is gonna go oh, it's going right it's a little shaky oh I just got bumped right there got bumped again Oh, I had him. Oh, it's got bum. Most likely going to be something in here, too, so I'll be ready. Got him. Got him. Nice one. Nice one. Big. Oh, he got off. Fuck. That was a big rainbow. I got my fly back, though. I knew there would be one in here. There's not much I can do, though. Just lost a big rainbow. Fuck, man.
seems to be a bunch of these today. Might be something kicking it in here. Oh, I got one. Oh man, there we go. I gotta wet my hands. Oh, he fucking, oh no, that's all bad. That's all bad. I gotta wet my hands. Sorry about that one, buddy. All right, that's fucked. Hate doing that to uh, wild trout, but sometimes what can you do? There it is. Looks like I got some good color on them. All right, let's get the release on them. Really nice. There we go. I knew there'd be one sitting in there. Pretty uh, sloppy. I hate doing that to wild trout, but I don't have a net. So he made it though. And that's it for this one. We got four chances out of fish today. Only able to land one of them. It's just how it goes sometimes, but it's good to get back out there and check in on the local mountains. We did what we could. And for fly fishing in the future, I want to get up to the Sierras and do some golden trout fishing and some brook trout fishing and whatnot. Flows are just super high everywhere and it's going to be a while before we can get out there. So just getting rigged up here to go back out to the harbor. I'm going to hit them again. And as always, I appreciate everyone who's watching. And I've, I've been meaning to put this in a few videos. I don't try to get views and stuff like that. I do it because I like editing videos. So. But I do appreciate people watching. It was nice to get out, check in on the mountains, and I look forward to being back out again.